Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a uh, quick video update here on uh, my progress on this uh, 66 ambulance. As you can see, I've been working on uh, making the beacon ray light for it, and, uh, getting the, the speakers chromed for it, take all this off. As you can see, it is setting on tires. Uh, it will have white wall tires. Now, don't be alarmed. <clears throat> I still have to cut this out yet. But one thing we did do, well, let me do this first. What we've been working on today was, can't have an ambulance unless you have a stretcher. So I made this out of plastic and pieces of paper clip. All these corners that you see are just a piece of the paper clip, the straight part that I bent in my pliers. And then I used the, the bits of the, of the tubing to glue them all together. Now I, I still have to put some, some kind of little wheels on it yet so it sets up a little bit higher uh, inside but I think it'll I think it'll it'll work and it's got a little bit of weight to it too with all the all the metal in it from the for the frame but yeah that's uh what I did for the for the bed here was I took a piece of 80 thousandths and then I scribed it in the back like three or four times and then I just bent it and then I stuck a little little piece of square stock behind it and glued it so it would stay up and then we put a support back here. But yeah, that's just made from a paper clip and plastic. So, pretty cool. Uh, I, I guess you can tell I did get the, the back doors cut off. I got them mated with the kit parts. Now, you notice that hole in there. These are, these are kind of driving me nuts a little bit as far as getting the, the swing of them right because they would, they would have swung upwards in the real world. So I'm, I'm fighting getting that correct. I don't know. If I can't get it figured out here in the next few days, they may just be hinged in an open position. You know, I, I mean, I'm okay with that. And then I started doing some work on the interior as well. Uh, we did add some sidewalls in here which like I said I still need to remove that this is only a piece of 10,000 sheet styrene so it'll it'll cut real easy and I'm thinking and, and I don't know if I'll do this or not but I'm thinking about actually not gluing the top on so it could be easily removed to show, you know, what little items I am going to do in the back. Because remember, this was the early 60s or late 60s, early 70s that this thing would have been in service. And back then it was more of a load and go situation. I, I, might, I might put a, a medical cabinet in here of some sort in uh, maybe a some type of seat this was the kit front seat which had the 60 40 so you could fold this one down to get into the back because it's only a two-door i'm actually going to use the back seat for it in the front because it's a solid bench and i'm thinking about slicing that 
part off right here and and sticking it in the back up against this little wall I made for, you know, the, the medic to sit in or the other ambulance attendant, I should say. I did make a, a uh, headliner for it. It's not quite glued in yet all the way. We have, uh, we started working on our, on our frame a little bit. Our engine does fit in it, believe it or not. That big block does squeeze in there, but it, uh, so far, it's actually setting on all fours. And I, I got the, the frame to set level by adding these little blocks back here. I don't know if you can probably see them better at this angle. These little blocks back here are actually glued to the resin cab or the body. And then the floor will set up against the bottom of them. So when I go to glue it all in, I'll have plastic to plastic. So that will glue in very well. And then the front end up here will be plastic to plastic when I get it all glued in. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming together. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm debating on whether I want to actually glue this guy in or not. You know, or just quite possibly these wheels won't, tires won't stay on. Or just possibly glue the rear doors open so that this can all be seen in here. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if you like where we're going so far, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you to all my, my new subscribers I've gotten. I know I've put a few posts on Facebook. My followers have went up tremendously. And I really appreciate appreciate that. And uh, work's going to continue. I need to cut the the front door panel off. This was the back. I don't know if I'll incorporate that in this or not. Uh, part of me says I should, but we'll see how it goes. But that's all I've got for now. I mean, uh, we're still plugging away at this guy. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.